You don't need a green thumb to add some life to your decor. Welcome to this month's DIY On Trend inspired by Pinterest workshop. This indoor herb garden planter makes a unique, thoughtful gift. It should only take about 45 minutes and cost around $18. Here are the materials and tools you're going to need. You can find all of them at the Home Depot. For materials, you'll need one 10-foot 1x6 common board and one box of 18-gauge 1 and a quarter inch brad nails. Now for the tools. You're going to need a circular saw, jigsaw, brad nailer, measuring tape, carpenter square, clamps, pencil, sanding block, and of course, safety goggles. For optional materials, you'll need paint or stain, a paintbrush, and safety gloves. If you don't have a brad nailer, replace it and the brad nails with a hammer and one and a quarter inch finishing nails. Using your measuring tape, measure and mark the pieces you'll need from the 10-foot 1x6 common board. You will need to measure and mark three pieces that are each 18 inches long, two pieces that are each 14 inches long, and two pieces that are each 7 inches long. Next, use the circular saw to make straight cuts on your marks. Grab the two 14-inch pieces, which will be used to make the legs for the planter. Along the top side of one of the 14-inch pieces, make a mark at three inches from each top corner. Connect a line from that mark down to the closest bottom corner. Along the bottom side, make a mark at three inches and at four and a half inches from each bottom corner. On the four and a half inch mark, draw a line perpendicular to the bottom and make a mark at two and three quarter inches. Draw a line connecting that mark down to the mark at three inches on the bottom side. Finally, draw a line connecting the marks you make at both two and three quarter inches. Use the jigsaw to cut out these legs from the 14 inch piece. Do the same for the other 14 inch piece. If you're planning to paint or stain your project, give all the pieces a good sanding and then paint or stain them before you assemble it. Take one of the 18-inch pieces and place it on the table. Place the two remaining 18-inch pieces and stand them next to the base. Place the two 7-inch pieces on the end, forming a box. Use your clamps to hold it together. Using your carpenter square to make sure it's square. Attach all the pieces with your brad nailer. If you don't have access to a brad nailer, use a hammer and finishing nails. Flip the box onto its 18-inch side and place one of the legs on top so that the midpoint of the leg lines up with the underside of the box. Attach with brad nails. Flip the unit over and attach the remaining leg to the other 18-inch side. And that's it, you're done. For even more hands-on help and fresh project ideas, Go to homedepot.com slash workshops and sign up for an in-store workshop near you. See you next time.